All right, Shalom, Israel. Once again, it's Brother Kalab out here on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, also known as Babylon the Great. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rock Badash. Hey, double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, who taught the truth and who rule well. A humble citation to the hopeful leg, pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom. So uh, I just want, I just kind of came out here, you know, to do the bidding of y'all by Shimei you know what I mean? Uh, fish out the elect, uh, give warning, sound the trumpet, sound the alarm of the impending destruction of America, okay? Hey, there's no other uh, other nice way to put it. The prophets of the Lord, hey, we, we ain't out here set up to sugarcoat nothing. We're giving it to you raw and uncut. And guess what? The day, the day of the Lord is at hand. Y'all about Shem Shai is getting ready to smite the earth for all, all the wicked abominations that's that's upon the earth. You know, straight up. Alright, and, and uh, you want to know what the wicked abominations of the earth us are the so-called Israelites, the Spanish, Native Americans, and African Americans, which are the true biblical Israelites. We are in a we are in a captivity. We're an oppressed, we're an oppressed uh, society, and our people they don't want to wake up. They don't want to seek the creator, Yah Bashim Yah Shai. They don't want to reform their ways. They see it. They see this as laborious, or uh, uh, they see it. You know, uh, they see it as no profit to them. But hey, we're set up here to give you warning that the day Yah Bashim Yahshua is at hand. And it's getting ready to utterly destroy, destroy Babylon the Great. Okay, so without any further ado, I'm going to uh, Zephaniah chapter one and fourteen says. It says. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry bitterly. Hey, all, all the mighty men, everybody that, that thinks they be tough, you think you think you hard body, you think you're a gangster, you think you've got position in this, uh, Esau's military, you think you're uh, uh, a bodybuilder, you, you think you're a tough guy. Well, guess what? All the mighty men of America is, is going to going to howl for the impending destruction and you can see these things already manifesting right you got russia and ukraine going at it that's going to bring that ultimately it's not the end but uh these things the vision is uh the vision is for an appointed time so we can see these things taking place all right and these people are going to be in bitter case hey, hey a great humbleness a great humbling i should say is coming to the earth okay Last thing I would do, last thing I would do is take this as a joke or smirk or smile of any sort. These tell Bashim and Shai kill you. Okay, and that's what these our people think. They think everything's a game and it's funny. Verse 15, uh, it says, the Salak, it says, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Okay? So all you tough guys, y'all gonna be in, di in, in dire, in dire, uh, in dire hurt, okay? Verse 15 says that 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 day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thickening darkness it's like a day a day of the trumpets and alarm against the fence cities hey that's that's talking about america this is a this is a fence city you can drive you can drive to any state right or province without having a passport. So this is what the scripture is talking about. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is getting ready to destroy America. And like I say, the last thing you want to do is smirk or smile. At least you be put to death. Instantly. Okay? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ain't playing games with his people, the children of Israel. And moreover, the, you think he's playing games with the heathen? He's, called, he's, he's got Egyptian versus Egyptian. He's got Esau eating the so-called white man killing themselves. That's a beautiful sight to behold. Finally, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is putting it in the minds of these kings. To, just to lay other waste because they are the destroyer okay nonetheless i don't want to veer from the lesson because the le part of the lesson is to sound sound the trumpet give the alarm right and then i'll pipe i'll go more or less into exhortation unto the elect how we should be abounding in this in this work and, and giving ourselves diligently okay at least we fall and last thing you want to do in these times is fall okay because hey guess what hey two-thirds of the inhabitants upon the earth are getting ready to be put to death okay for the transgression and, and wickedness, okay? 
and the scriptures talk about this uh, over and over and over and over again, okay? Okay, so I got a scripture here, which is Isaiah. Thirty-four. So Yahweh Shai, he's coming with that sword. He's coming with that sword to, to lay the, the land desolate, and he's and, and uh, I'm gonna go into this right off the bat. Isaiah chapter thirty-four, one says, "Come near, ye nations, to hear." And that that's all the nations. So-called Esau, even the so-called white man, uh, 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 Amal Amalek. Uh, the Moabites, all, all these Middle Eastern ages, all these nations are going to hear. It says, and hearken ye, come near ye nations to hear. Hearken ye people, let the earth hear. And all that is therein, the world and all the things that come forth of it. Verse 2 says, the indignation of Yahweh, the indignation of Yahweh Shah is upon all nations. And his fury upon all their, the, all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. The slain also shall be cast out, and their steam shall come up. It says, Their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. It says, And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and all the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And hey, that's talking about a nuclear, hey, when you roll up a scroll, right? Like that, uh, like when they drop that atomic bomb, that's what it's going to be like over here, okay? It's like a mushroom, like when you roll up a scroll, it's like a mushroom crowd, cloud, okay? It says, and all their hopes shall fall down as a leaf falls from the vine and, and as they fall from the tree, it says, and this is where I, where I wanted to go over. And this, this is uh, this, uh, this thermonuclear fire that's going to uh, hit America, okay? So there's going to be a great slaughter upon America, Idumia, okay? Uh, Babylon the Great. It's going to be a great slaughter. Uh, Isaiah, and that's that's now. This is talking about these times now. So uh, you can see Russia and Ukraine. We think it's going to happen. Isaiah chapter 34 and 5 says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse for judgment. It says, verse 6 says, the, the, sword, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness. And the blood of lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams for the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra and that if you go into scripturally that's talking about America it's synonymous with uh, Babylon the Great which this now this is now this is a, a, re, a revitalized uh, Roman Empire okay so this that's, this is synonymous of what this is speaking of it says the sword of the Lord is filled with blood and that's going to be this this blood of these these heathens right and and our people as well okay it says it is made fat with fatness and with blood of lambs and the fatness of the kidneys of rams for the Lord, because animals are going to get it, these humans are going to get it. It says, for the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And guess what? These, 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 this, this, this is what these Christians don't tell you. They, they don't go into these scriptures. They don't go into uh, the prophetic scriptures in regards to America being destroyed, the heathen nations being destroyed, you so-called white devils. That's right. Get ready, get ready, get ready for slavery and for destruction. And guess what? Not to mention our people as well, because they're the two thirds. They, they co-signed on, off of on Babylon the Great. They've been indoctrinated with the philosophy and the, and the wicked ways of, of this country, right? That's why you got homosexuality, adultery, covetousness, murder, child, you know, child. Know, all that, all the sick shit that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, promotes, and he doesn't, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't rule. Of course, so this country is supposedly is supposed to be run off the, uh, off the laws of the Bible, but they don't, they don't just, they don't. Uh, Esau Edom, he don't, he don't, um, he don't push the the laws of the Bible. That's why this place is going to be destroyed. One of the many reasons this place is going to be destroyed. Okay, I'm just jump down to eight. It says. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of his recompense. And that's where we're, we're, we're coming in. And we hasten into these times because we know through the scriptures that for the, for the, uh, for the good to be sown, the bad must be done away with, roughly paraphrased, okay? So all the, all, the only thing uh, they say, what do they say? Uh, well, what can you expect, right? 
You want to ask her from the prophets, what can you expect in, in your near future? Well, nothing but pain and destruction is what you can expect. Say, uh, uh, and, and you can even mirror the pain and, and, and destruction that our people have, uh, have suffered, right? The nation of Israel. But this is going to be for the wicked of our people and the key of the nations, okay? Isaiah chapter 13 and 9 says, Behold the day of the Lord coming. Behold the day of the Lord coming. Both cruel, cruel both with wrath and with fierce fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners that are out of it. Verse 11, I'm going to jump down since verse 11 says, and I will punish the world for their evil and for the, and for the wicked and the wicked for their iniquity and I will cause the arrogance of the proud. That's talking about the so-called white man. This, this Esau Edom, he's, he's known as the son of perdition. He's, he's the most proud. That's why he says uh, he builds his nest above the heavens, according to the book of Obadiah. What? What? What's well, what are you just saying? What? What's the word today? The word today is that Babylon the Great, uh, the mother of harlots, the the city that had, that the world has taken on the philosophy of, is going to be destroyed. That's the word. There's bitter and sweet, and we come with the bitter and we come with the sweet. The good news for you. Good news for you is. Uh, what's your nationality? I'm from an island. Okay, what island? Guam. Guam. Oh, so you're, uh, so you're, uh, you look like a king. Guam. Uh, so is that like, kind of like the Philippines, something like that? Okay, so, um, you see a lot, a lot of our people, Israel was scattered, was scattered, uh, uh, uh we were, we've been thrown in captivity on the whole earth, right? The nation of the biblical, uh, biblical people, the Bible, the Israelites, right? We've been scattered uh, throughout the whole four corners of the earth, right? So we're going to have people coming up out of all nations, right? But more or less, uh, you're an Israelite. If do you do you have a, uh, an affinity to serve uh, to serve the Lord? Do you do you seek righteousness? Do you want righteousness? Do you, do you want righteousness to be established? Do you believe in God? How about that one? Or you I, don't? I believe him, but I'm not ready to go. You're not ready to go where? Yeah. You're not ready to commit. Yep. Well, you need. Well, if you're an Israelite, which, which if this, we just listen because if this message resonates with you, then maybe, maybe you are an Israelite. So, uh, so yeah. So you say you're. So basically, what part of what I'm asking is because of this sign right here, the scriptures are talking solely to the nation of Israel, right? I don't know if you know that or whatever. You don't, but I'm telling you because this whole book is talking to the, uh, 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 of a nation to a nation that would not know who they really are and that they will be in constant oppression here in America, okay? So, so to, the, to, to the scriptures, uh, we are, this is the 12 tribes chart. These are the true biblical Israelites and there is salvation for these people to the people of the lineage of God. Okay, so, so Christianity teaches you that so-called Jesus Christ, he's a, he's a so-called white man, right? Every Mexican has a, a white guy in there with, you know, yeah. Do you have a body? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you're doing the Christianity yeah, no, thing? No, how long your head is crutch? Uh, it's just because, man, uh, I'm oppressed, you know, so I work a lot and, and I, I have... You want a Bible with Huh? You want a Bible? No. Are you good? You don't want it, bro. It's all good. So, so I don't know what, you, what you're preaching, what you want, but what I'm doing is... I'm preaching the true understanding of the Bible, which is Christianity. He's a, he's a See, that's, well, I'll tell you something right now. Catholics are not, they're not going to make it, bro. Say that, sir. Huh? Yeah, like, you know, yeah, you, you, you know, we're, we're not. We're, but I mean, what, what's the point, weird. though? What's You're the weird. point? I mean, yeah, he, he, we, the scriptures say that the conscience of a man, you can tell a lot by a person's appearance, you know? The scriptures say that. Like, if I look at, like, you could, you could see people and you could automatically know a lot of things about them. So that's not off what he said. The scriptures, and that's discernment. So Yah Bashim Yahshai, the, the, true, the true name of the creator, which is, is the Paleo Hebrew, which is our ancient tongue. Okay, Christianity... Christianity, uh, really, pretty much, and all, all the way back to 
like 70 AD in the, in the land of Israel where all these things were taking place, right? We were strict of our identity, our heritage, our customs. You were by a button and you jumped on It's not, no, not at all, really, because I got the KGV and you got the KGV as well. You just have it like a little bit more or less, like easier, you know, layman's term, right? More layman's term. But like I'm saying, if you, you obviously you read the scriptures, you have a Bible in your hands, right? You obviously read the scriptures. And you know that, and I'll continue so you can listen or whatever, but so I was in, I was in, I grew up in Christianity, Christianity, my parents were Jehovah's Witness, and it never really resonated to me until I heard this truth. This is the truth, and everybody says they got the truth, but no, this is actually the truth. Another thing, like, the truth wouldn't be, it says in the scriptures, right? The truth wouldn't be in the latter days, it wouldn't be in the temple built with hands. It's gonna, we are the temple, but uh, the Israelites, uh, the tabernacle of David, right? We are, we are, uh, we are the temple, you know, as a body. I mean, we're the body of Hamashiach Yahweh we'll Shai. Go ahead, man. Yeah. And so I'll continue and then maybe he'll catch something. Because maybe this might be for you, bro. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to continue. So nothing but utter destruction. And, and so Yahweh Bashi Mishra has a chosen people, okay, which is the Israelites, okay? If you're not an Israelite, you're going to, um, you're going to, um, uh, you're going to be destroyed. Okay. Because the scriptures say it, and I'll go into it. Because Yahweh Shemesh has a favorite people, and he's only here to gather his. And not, and guess what? And then the short thing about it is that he he doesn't even he's not even dealing with his own people as well. Yahweh Shemesh has a problem with most of his people as well. Okay, he's going to destroy all the heathen nations, right? Put the kings of those nations into captivity, along with the two thirds of our people as well. So hey, none of us none of us are free from the wrath of Yahweh Shemesh. Okay. But by us doing this work, we, we in hopes that it may be pleasing, you know, we seek, we seek new heavens. Okay, I'm, so I'm going to continue. Hey, that's that's uh, when uh, she spoke to the world, right? Is that the same? Yeah. John 3, 16. Okay, well, we, what's that? That's not, that's not talking about the whole entire world. They considered the, uh, when he spoke in the temple, they said he spoke to, to the world. And that's the world of the nation of Israel. More in detail than that, and, and then that's undeniable because these scriptures, these scriptures is all about talking about uh, the nation of Israel. Okay, hey, let me just that that's talking about so God loved the world, right? Yeah. If you if you go into that, the break, you're gonna, you're, well, we gotta listen to what he says, so we can realize what the context you know, is. Here, John 316, right? Okay. okay. Let's go, because this is not talking about the, the world because what, who was uh was john right he was the one speaking in the temple right and it was how it's referenced you got that's why you got to go into the words the etymology of the words when he said he spoke to the world it's regarding in, in the temple and no profane thing would be in the temple so meaning only the nation of israel was is the world that's speaking to the world of the nation of israel it's more in depth that's why that's and that's the go-to that's the first all christians that's all they got well, we yeah. got we got the whole book. We got the whole book. There's more than we got the whole understanding of this book, and that's the only one thing you guys can say. And then another thing, the Gentiles, right? Because just like America, because just like America, right? Uh, in the time of the Gentiles, or the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, or when he's that's why it says, I believe it says something like nor nor Jew or Greek, because our people were mixed in with the heathens, the real Israelites, just like just like they are right now. That's why, like, you got a lot of Mexicans that they think they're white, you know. So he, he was sent out to preach to the Gentiles because they were of the lineage, which, but because they were the lineage of, of Israel. But, but of course they call themselves Jews and just how you got, blah, like you got mixed, oh, I'm American. No, bro, you're not American. You're a fucking, you're, you're what this world calls you. You're what this world calls you. You're a fucking nobody. Uh, 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 you know, how they, you know the, uh, the by words that they use for our people. So, but, but that's a part of our punishment in regards to the, curses that we're under uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. See, I have my lesson planned out. He's kind of hitting me, but if you just let me continue all these scriptures and see, this is apocrypha. You're, you're, this, mine, mine don't even have it. This is, this was speaking out in 1611, I think. This goes more, it goes more in detail in regards to our people. Yes, but all that, all those, that's our people, bro. This whole, all the great battles, all the, all, all the whole, all the times that y'all about to see when we were at, um, we were defeated right and we just came all the stories that 
we trust in our power, all this and that. That's us. That's talking to us. I'm telling you right now to this day that if you're signed, look, what's your nationality? How about that? We'll go there. I'm a son of God, brother. I'm a son of God, brother. Hey, who is this you though? <laughs> that's that Christian shit, man. A, the, uh, that's that Christian. Hey, but see, you, but you're a son of God. I'm trying, I'm trying but isn't, isn't, isn't this book talking to the... Well, let I'm me go. Just, I'm just trying to understand right, what you're Let me see, because I got. Yeah, you know, I have no idea what you're. What All right, let me to... let me go. Let me go then. Okay. It don't matter if you laugh, bro. Hey. Because <laughs> either you're a two third or you're you're a heathen, and guess what? It's no, there's no good end for you. I'll tell you that. We much. are everybody the son of God, man. I don't know. No, why the you Israelites say... are a chosen special people unto the Habashim of China. Those are the ones that are going to have hey, this... salvation in the end. And not over, not just, not just our people, right? The two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed as well. Those that can't receive this message. But let me, let me, uh, let me find what, so I can give you an example because I have, I wrote some in there. Okay, that's not it here. Let me look at this. We're trying to, like, emphasize on my, uh... It's, this, my, this whole book is for the Israelites. There's no other, there's no... If and or but if, if, you go, if you're spiritually looking at it and the heathen are condemned but just let me give me a second what's your name uh, abraham my name is caleb oh Kalab, which is okay. a faithful dog because i don't i don't use this name that we're giving to it we use we use a hebrew name we're the true hebrews bro and so we use uh, the hebrew hebrew name and that's the name that i was given okay okay so who gave you the name uh, uh one of the brothers in this truth Ah, okay. Right here. This is this is this Yahweh is just very selective, you know. Um, let me go to Luke. Luke eleven. Chapter 68, okay. okay. Luke, I'm sorry, Luke 1 and 68 says, Blessed be, blessed be the Lord, the power of Israel, right? Because it's because the scripture of Jehovah. But we know, if you look at, if you just Google it simply, you know that the letter J was invented in the 1600s, so there's no way Jesus, Jehovah, anything with J is the name. It's moreover, when you break it down in the Hebrew, it's Yahweh. That's just how it breaks it right now. But blessed be the Lord of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people, and he hath raised the horn of salvation, meaning like a horn, like a, you know, a way. He hath raised a, up a horn of salvation for us and his servants, David. Because not only, not it's like even more, it gets even more selective within our people, because then you have a branch, then you have, you'd have to be, a, you'd have to be an Israelite. You'd have to be an Israelite within the one third, and then you, and then, and you have to be an Israelite within the one third, and also, you'd have to be from the tabernacle of David, because then there was two, there was, um, what was it, uh, saw, like a saw light. Hey, I got another one for you, bro. Can I get you some? Look, bro. And this is the healing. He ain't gonna get no healing, bro, because this is... Because he's a heathen, bro. That's why he doesn't believe. You, you, you're an Israelite. I already know this spirit because you're probably either Mexican, Puerto Rican, or Native American. One of those. So our people, we have an affinity. We have an affinity to serve. But the heathens, the heathens, they don't. All right, bro. Let me. Let me. That's it, right? Hey, this word. This word is ointment, right here, bro. All right. Anyways, they don't. They don't want to hear it, but they don't even know the offenses they're committing right now. And Romans. Ro I'm gonna go into it. It says Romans chapter nine and twenty six says. And it shall come to pass in the place where they're said unto them, "Ye are not my people." There shall, there shall, they be called the children of the living God. And that's in our on our redemption here in on Babylon the Great. It's like we're gonna, it's gonna be made known that Yahweh is dealing with a certain branch of people. And but our, some some of our people they're just sealed. They're just been sealed and marked for destruction. 
back to what I was doing because he just has some reprobates over here come in like they know something but they don't even know that they're Israelites right they think that God lives everybody no Yahweh has a problem with a lot of people okay that's why he's destroying the world okay uh, Joel chapter 2 and 1 says it says blow ye the trumpet in Zion hey that's you Israelites it says blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound, sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Of the children of Israel will be at the sand of the sea, and remnant shall be saved. And that's what I was trying to tell him that it's not just not just all the nation of Israel, but a special branch. Lord's will will be of that number, right? Not all, not not all these people. Not just because you're an Israelite means you're going to make it, okay? All right. Either way, we can't do nothing. Uh, we can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, okay? Regardless, and I don't want to be about you not Gives me a more spiritual increase that I can, you know, that I can defend the gospel and then they don't understand what they're doing. Let them know more in detail what they're doing. Jeremiah uh, 30, 30 and 7 says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he that but, but he shall be saved out of it. He says, For it shall come to pass in the day, for it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, saith the Lord of hosts. That I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy bonds, and the stranger shall serve themselves, themselves of him. So there's going to be a time where Yahweh Christ is going to break that captivity off us, and we're not going to, we're not going to be, we're not going to, they're not going to serve themselves. That our captivity is going to be, we're going to be set free to the deliverance of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. says, but they that it says, but they, but they shall serve the Lord their power, and they, and David their king, whom I. Will, David, their king, whom I will raise up unto them. And that Adonai is like, Yahweh is raising us up and within that righteous branch, okay? And so, so we're out here warning our people, you so-called Israelites, you, you so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, and so-called African Americans, you know, to repent, to seek your creator before, before you know, before the window of opportunity closes, because Yahweh is bringing that great uh, tribulation, okay? Which I got the scriptures here for that. Matthew 24 and 21 says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no, nor ever shall be. It says, Except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. It says, But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay? So, yeah, like I said, that's that's what's more, that's the more exclusive part. So not so within that remnant, you know, the elect, you know, not all the Israelites, maybe, but only that elect, Yahweh is going to speed up this process, this destruction of Babylon the Great, and going to come render recompense and judgment onto the heathen nations, right? Which is the so-called white people, so-called, uh, uh, like this this guy that came, right? Uh, Moabite or whatever, or, or um, Jaff, uh, Jaffite, you know, uh, Philippine or whatever. Those are the heathen nations. They have no ungodliness and they don't pertain, pertain to any salvations. The only thing they pertain to is to be tributaries to the nation of Israel, which they're going to be getting ready to be destroyed or uh, thrown into captivity for a thousand years. And Esau, even the so-called white man, is going, to, is going to be erased from the planet, okay? And that's going to be a, a beautiful sight to behold. That means, that means no more wickedness, no more, uh, no more, uh, none of this philosophy, none of this, none of this plague. Service, the disease will ever touch the world again. Okay, this is his final rulership. 
okay? So I don't want to tell y'all about me. I'll try, uh, bring this destruction close, okay? I'm going to just continue with the lesson to the spirit. It's a little rainy, but we're just going to keep pushing, okay? And, and ultimately, that's what we're doing. We're not sparing, sparing nobody's feelings right now. A lot of feelings are getting hurt, but it's that's the will y'all about me outside. We gonna that's 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 what the will y'all about me outside is. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, Isaiah chapter uh, fifty-eight one says, "Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins." So we're, we're, we're letting them know and, and letting that guy, this, this, he, he was an issue. You know, I'm a child of God. No. Well, you should be a child. You should be a child of it. Uh, you should be the children of Israel, right? If you're a child of God, that means you're a child of God. That means you, then you're saying you're uh, the children of Israel. Okay, fine. You said that, then you, then, then you better look on that sign and, and get it right. You know, y'all about to show done with this place. Okay. It's going to continue to the spirit. We're out here to make our bodies a living sacrifice, making ourselves full for Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, so that he may have uh, that he may have mercy onto us in these these uh, these times of calamity that we're fastly approaching. Okay. Second Ezra's Second Ezra's chapter 15 and 6 says, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. It says, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Says, Behold, innocent and the righteous blood cried unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually, and that's what we're doing. We're saying, "Hey, we're like we're 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 showing y'all about Shemuel Shai. Hey, look, man, we we're, we're telling these people what it is, and, and we're crying to y'all about Shemuel Shai, the cries and abominations of these heathens, right? And 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 that he may look upon us. You know, we're the ones that's crying and sign uh, to whom I shot y'all Shai. Okay, which I don't want I'm going to I'm going to that because we're the servants. So we're looking unto our we're, we're as servants. We're looking unto our master, and our master. Is Yahweh Shai, okay? Just give me reverence unto him, okay? Because we, we, uh, we seek new heavens. We see that this place is completely done. It's destroyed. There's no righteousness here. And, and then the, you try to tell them and they don't want to hearken into it, okay? You know, they don't want to hear They don't want to hear these uh, warnings. So I'm gonna just keep going down the line with uh, your how about you make sure I gave me to work with and that's what we're gonna do. Ezekiel chapter Ezekiel chapter three and seven says, But but the but the house of Israel will not hearken unto, unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are, are impudent and hard headed, okay? Ezekiel chapter 3 and 4 says, And he said unto me, Son of man, and so this is Yahweh Shai commanding us Israelites, go into the house of Israel, which is the Israelites, are so called Hispanics and Native Americans, African Americans. Those, those are the ones that pertain to Yahweh Shai. It says, And he said, he said unto me, Son of man, get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them, for thou, for thou art not seen to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language. But to the house of Israel, so thou art so thou art not sent to a strange people. Thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and and of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. Okay, we're sent unto our own people. We'll go back to Matthew chapter twenty-four. This lesson didn't go as planned because, of course, I had to change it because then we had those two guys come up. Matthew chapter 24 and 30. 
And this is where we're uh, you know, we're still speaking about the impending destruction. So I'm going to grab Matthew chapter. Ooh. Matthew chapter. And that's what this guy was coming in. Matthew chapter 24 and 24 says, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And that's why he was asking this healing. Oh, do you believe you can be healed right now? You know. He can pull heathen, but he ain't gonna pull the elect, okay? Show me down at verse 30 it says, and then shall appear the sign of, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of earth mourn, it says, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, it says. And he shall and he shall send his angels with the sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from the end of the earth. And and that's what I'm talking about, Yahweh. That's what I was trying to tell him that Yahweh is only dealing with his elect, okay? And we're doing this that Yahweh, you know, this is something actually that the elect will be doing. We'll be we'll be exalting our power and we'll be blowing that trumpet, you know, out here on the highways and byways and, and truth and in sincerity, you know. I told him the how the temple of, of the most high is not built, it's not built with it's not built with hands. It's, we are the temple, you know, and it's it's out here on the highways and byways, okay. And that's what we want. We want that mercy from Yahweh about Shimei on Shai. Psalm chapter 85 and 1 says, Lord, hast thou have been Like I told him, you know, we're under heavy curses for our for our, our own iniquity, our own transgression. Psalms chapter 85 and 1 says, The Lord has been, the Lord has been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of, of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered them, covered all their sins. Okay, that's where Yahweh Bashirishai died for the nation of Israel. And more when you get deep into scriptures, you know he's talking about the elect. You start to see that. It says, Thou hast always Thou hast taken away all thy wrath, and thou hast turned thyself from the fierce, fierceness of the anger of thy anger. It says, Turn unto us our power of our salvation, and cause thy anger toward us to cease. Wilt thou be angry with us? Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw thy anger to all generations? So this is this is uh, a psalm, right? That you know we're asking you how about you know, shaking the spirit, you know how long. Will you have hate? Will you will you be angry with this forever? Will there be will there be a day of uh, deliverance, a day of recompense for uh, for the nation of Israel? Well, that that's what we're that's what we're crying sign about. That's that's why we're out here. You know, that's one of the main reasons we're out here. Seek mercy for Hamashiach Yahushai, and because we understand that Babylon the Great, America, right, is going to be destroyed. You know, and our people, you talk about Hispanics, Native Americans, and African Americans. You can't understand this message or, or seek to say y'all about you outside. You can't get your wrap your mind around that you're an Israelite or seek the creator, you're gonna be destroyed. There's, there's no other way of telling you besides telling you like that. And um, you know, I'm out here just I'm not I'm not I don't make any money out here, I don't do I don't get any benefit besides the benefit of y'all by you outside that that we may be covered and it's time to come. Cause we're looking, we're doing this. We're hasting the day of the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. We're looking into our power as though we're we're uh, servants, right? Like like how a dog looks at his master. And that's why we're waiting. We're, we're our eyes are uh, we're we're just fixated upon, upon Yahweh Shai. We're servants to him. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. get into like an exhortation it says uh, psalms chapter 23 i'm mean, gonna just get it from the top it says unto thee lift up thy eyes and thou hast dwelt in the heavens hold as thy let's start over it says psalms chapter 20, 123 says unto thee lift up my eyes 
O thou that dwellest in the heavens, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, verse 2 says, Behold, as the eyes of servants look upon the hand of their masters, we're diligently looking and we're looking at all the signs, we're looking for, for our Savior, Hamashiach Yahushai. And as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of his masters, so, so are the eyes that wait upon the Lord our power until that he have mercy on, upon us. Verse 3 says, Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Verse 4 says, Our, our soul is exceedingly filled <coughs> with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Okay? So we're vexed, you know? We're vexed within our own, with, from our people that they're at ease. They have no reverence, no idea, no care, lackadaisical right, la 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 land. But if you only knew the destruction and danger, right, the torment and anguish and calamity that's getting ready to befall this place, you know, we're, we're vexed to that because as much as we try to tell them and say, hey, you know what, you know what's going on over here, you need to change your ways, they just don't want it. Our soul is seemingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and, and with those and with the contempt of the proud, and that's these nations, these heathen nations, this is starting with Esau, Edom, okay? We're vexed to the spirit. And we want order and established. We want order and established. Uh, we want order to be established in righteousness, okay? Well, we seek, we seek for a new heavens, you know? We'll dwell with righteousness, okay? And the more we preach this word, the faster this place goes down, and that's what we want, because we want, we want, Righteousness to be established with the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Second Peter chapter three and thirteen says, Sorry, I didn't realize it was. Second Peter chapter three and twelve. That's what we're we're looking upon. Our eyes are fixated on our on, on our Lord, right? And we're we're hasting the day of the coming of Hamashiach Yahushua that's going to uh, establish righteousness upon the earth. And and with that, you know, I, I got Second Peter chapter two and three and twelve says because we're looking for something. It says Second Peter chapter three and twelve says looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It says, nevertheless, be according to his promise. Look for new heavens and, and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. It says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in, in of him in peace without spot and, blame, and blameless. Okay, so ultimately that's what that's what we're doing this as an act of, of mercy, you know, an act of fear. Are you, are you going to attain this by being uh, by being diligent? Second Peter chapter two and Second Peter chapter three and ten says. Let me go up to nine. It says the Lord is not concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but but his long suffering to us, to us who are not willing that he may that he that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and that's how this this destruction is going to befall the earth. It says, in which the heavens shall pass away okay. with a great noise, and, it, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, the, all, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what matter of persons ought you to be in all holiness and conversation and godliness concerning the end, right? What what manner of person shall we be? We, we exited this world. Uh, we're to arise and depart from the philosophies of Yahweh. We're supposed to be sober, okay? 
sober minded, fixated on Yahweh, Shai. Verse 12, look, once again, it says, looking forward and hasting into the coming of the day of the Lord, for in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where unto righteousness. It says, wherefore, beloved, see, seeing that all, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blame, blameless, blameless, okay? We want to be diligent. We want to put in our work. We want to seek our creator, our power, so that we may be pleasing unto him, so that we, he may deal with us and give us the spirit to serve him and truth and sustain in sincerity, you know, that we may be able to go in his heavenly courts, you know, and enter into his labor. Uh, Second Peter chapter 1 and 10 says, therefore, therefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make a calling election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. Okay. Okay, so this Yahweh Shush has given us the recipe how to overcome for these times, you know, that we may be, that the Spirit may go upon us where, you know, what the Scripture says, uh, the, uh, the Lord, shall, you know, pretty much shall be a refuge for us, right? First Corinthians 15. I believe it's 58. Uh, First Corinthians 15 and 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay? Y'all about to have taken account of this of these labors, okay? We're to be moved with fear, fear, you know. We have to have, we have to have a, a and like a lot of these cats, they don't have that. They don't have a sense of urgency. Why would you not be? Why would not prophecy? Why, like in these Harley houses, why would prophecy not be the focal point? Giving giving uh, credence in, to, in regards to the times that we're in, right? Everybody knows this is the end. Why Why wouldn't the focal point be uh, prophecy, right? Not so, because uh, the spirit of Hamashiach is prophecy. Okay? We want to be found, found blameless. And this goes into Noah through his faith because faith is uh, faith is the substance of things not seen. And even though we don't see the destruction, we don't see it. We believe it's going to happen. So that's why we're out here telling you. Go, go, go. go ahead, you saw keep talking your shit. You, you, uh, Y'all about to say getting ready to kill you, white devils, all right? How about that? Did, did you understand that part? I mean, think of, <laughs> uh, Hebrews chapter 11 and 7 says, Chapter 11 and 7 says, by, by faith Noah being warned of Yahweh of these things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he commanded, by which he commanded the word and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. And that's what we want. We want to be born heirs of Mashiach El Shai. That's why we put ourselves out here, you know, to the elements, to, 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 to the risk of being, you know, uh, ostracized and all that stuff you know we suffer afflictions you know so that we may be partakers you know the body of Hamashiach Yashai you know we suffer affliction and that goes into the Acts I believe that's Acts chapter 15 if you bear with me because because we're supposed to rejoice when we suffer these afflictions okay that's how you know Yahweh Hashem is actually dealing with you because the prophets when they when um, they were beating they were beaten for teaching the name of the correct name of Yahweh Hashem Yashai they were beaten and, and demonized and 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 afflicted and, and they were and, and they rejoiced because they were kind of worthy, worthy to suffer uh, suffer pain in Hamashat Yahushan. And that's ultimately what we're doing to the spirit.
I'm going to describe Acts chapter 5 and 21. It says, And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early morning and taught. I got it right here. Acts chapter 5 and uh, Acts chapter 5 and 38 says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Or or if this is and this is what uh, who said this? Is it uh, Route 37 says, and after this rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him, and he also perished, and all and all, even as many obeyed him, were just First, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them let them alone. For if this counsel of their work be of men, it will come to naught. So this counsel, we ain't stopping you that yet. This is the will Yahweh Shimei on Shire. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. Least happily, ye be found even to fight against Yahweh. It says, and to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, this is, and then we're we're beating up spiritually out here. That's how we're, we're out here and we're. Suffering these afflictions that we may be partakers of, our Hamashiach Yahweh Shai says, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai, and that's ultimately what the ultimately we're going to be demonized and put to for teaching the correct names, right? Because the correct names ain't Jesus Christ or Jehovah, whatever. Because if you just Google it, simply Google it, you understand that the letter J was invented and in, was invented in the 1500s. Okay, so that could not be the correct name of our Lord and Savior Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. <laughs> teaching the true proper name but we're going to be demonized and suffer affliction because of it okay and, da and daily in the temple every house they cease not to teach and preach and preach from my God was trying guess what also to the spirit that's what we're doing as well we ain't ceasing we're continuing and we're continuing do doing the will y'all by me outside that we may be, that we may find uh, he may find mercy upon us okay This is the spirit. I'm gonna end it out with the song. I don't want to saw. We're, ultimately, we're, we're seeking mercy from our power. Okay. Sing this song to the Lord. It goes out. The spirit says. It says Psalm 96. It says, "Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Blessed is the name. Yah Bashim Yah Shai." Store forth his salvation for day to day. Declare his glory among, declare his glory among the heathen. And I don't know that's what I did to you know explain this to this you know he I don't know he was a heathen because he couldn't come he couldn't understand what I was talking about and he and he had no re affinity to uh, to serve God you know he said he wasn't ready. He says his wonders it says declare the glory, declare his glory. You know I'm gonna start over. Psalms chapter 96 says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, blessed, it, blessed his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be, to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens honor the majesty are before him, strength and the beauty are in his sanctuary. Okay, so to the spirit, I'm going to end out there, giving all honor and glory and praise to my power, which is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rock Badash. Hey, double honors to the apostles of Grand Melstone, who caused this shooting and who were well. A humble citation to the hopeful leg, Christian's work and future sincerity. I say Shalom.